Hello and welcome back to Von Mellhausen Plays Biomenace. Last time we had just entered Southside, so let's see what it has in store for us, as I nearly quit the game again. Okay, we have a key, we have a skeleton against a trash heap. This definitely looks much more urban than the park we were in last time. Can I shoot the trash can? I cannot. Can I enter the trash can? I cannot. Okay, I've just gotten two red grenades as opposed to the green grenades that we had previously. I see a fire imp guy here. As well as a new kind of green green slug character up there towards the left. Okay, I killed something. It's another one of those shadow guys. And another one by the looks of it. Saw so some meat chunks there, so I killed something. And I'm assuming I can't shoot that guy through the wall. No. Okay. Okay, well, just to experiment, we have easy access to one of these green slug guys up here. Ow. Now, I'm going to make a prediction here. I don't know anything about this enemy, but it's slow moving and it's small. So I'm going to guess that it'll become like a giant mouth or something when I come to attack it. Or when it comes to attack me. Uh, no, it's just hurting me. Crap. Um, hmm. So they're just to be avoided. They're quite slow moving. sure how to avoid those bombs either. Okay, here's another one of these green slime things. Okay, they don't turn around when you go past them. That's good to know. Just firing off a few exploratory shots here. Okay, so we have three doors. I don't know how many keys I have. Ah, I got a shard, which I should be able to use to unlock something. Okay, you have to wait for the green slime again. Down to one health. Okay. Again, just firing a few exploratory shots here. Damn it! I'm not sure how to deal with those uh, those missile guys. Okay, we're back up here. Let's go in the door. Now there were a whole bunch of shadow beasts here. I saw them from the the previous floor. Damn it! Got needlessly hit there. Secret, uh, little secret hole there. Interesting. Okay, well, I got an extra life again and some kind of crazy gun. It's enough to kill those bloody missile guys. That's how I take care of them. And it can kill the slimes. Thought I thought I didn't have enough keys left to take care of that door, but I did. Now I notice there's a whole bunch of spikes here and switches. Hmm. I'm just afraid that if I get the find the color sequence in this level. One. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, I was afraid that if I got the combination wrong that I would just get dropped to my death, which apparently I did. Hmm, now I'm wondering if that has reset or not. If it hasn't, I may choose to reload. Ooh, crap, it has not reset. 
I really want to know what it unlocks. There's no way for me to access it now because there's no floor here anymore. Yeah, I'm going to reload. I will take us back to that point in the level. See you in a moment. As you can see, I decided to go a slightly different route here, and I've just picked up a key card that may become useful later or elsewhere in the level. I'm going to keep exploring here while I'm over this way. Okay, I've made it onto the platform I just activated with the other switch. led me to a 50,000 point coin. I've just noticed the um, key card I picked up is probably to unlock this guy up here above me. So I need to find a way to reach him somehow. But I don't think it's... Oh, it might actually be via here. Okay, I've just unlocked him. Hey, be careful, buddy. These buildings are, excuse the pun, crawling with, like, these weird creature things, man. Hey, wow, what a cool gun. Can I try it out? And uh, no way, weird clone of the guy that's in the first level. Nah, you'd probably shoot your foot off or something. You'd better get out of here before the mutants come creeping back this way. Which this guy is about to do. Damn, I almost got hit by him again. Okay, I'll bring you back when something interesting happens. Ah, I'm just back in this this room again with the um, the the kind of the first floor of the building. And look at the doorway. Sorry, the window above. It has a color code over it: brown, pink, dark blue, green, light blue. Bear that in mind, kiddies. I'm out of keys. Damn it. So you can run out. Anyway, there's that color combo again. Okay. Let's try the code here again. Brown. Pink. Dark blue. Green. Light blue. Ooh, goodies. Nice one. And uh, now I did pick up one more key, so I'm going to open this door. 1500 points. I don't remember what was in the other door, unfortunately. And now we are back into uncharted territory. Hmm. This gun, while rapid, is not capable of defeating that dude. But these grenades are capable of doing it. Oh wait, I picked up landmines. Damn it. I kind of want these keys. I have no idea how to avoid those guys. Now I'm curious about what happens if I were to jump off this thing to the right. Okay, somewhere I can reach. So, what have I got? I got a shard, which I think I can use over here, was it? Okay, can't shoot that green thing with this gun either. Ow. Damn it, down to one health. Yep, here's the shard. Now, I'm not sure what that did exactly. 
Oh, I can push this block. Okay. Those two monsters have ended up in a pit. I'm more than happy to let them live there. I think. Don't think there's anything else I need. Let me just uh, leave a mine here in case they decide to come back out. Ah, no. Ah, game. Come on. You let me jump up here, but I can't jump back down. Ah, that's bullshit. Ugh, I'm gonna have to, gonna have to kill myself now. Yeah, can't get down to there. Even though I could jump up to here, I can't get down. That's lame. All right, into the death pit with the monsters I go, which causes me to respawn back here, and at least I can get back up. Okay, we're back up here. Let me push this block. Ah, okay, it provides a way over to this place. Now, do I still have the stupid mines? I do. Oh my god. I should have known. It's like, how are you supposed to get that key? It's completely wedged between those blocks. Smush. Actually, I was just thinking, these uh, falling blocks kind of remind me of the, the blocks in Duke Nukem. There were falling blocks in Duke Nukem that kind of did the same thing. But I'm not sure the mechanism that these ones use. Okay, I think you have to touch them and then they fall a few minutes afterwards, or a few seconds afterwards. Okay, at least I have a checkpoint here now. Yeah, I just touched the corner of that one. And I just tipped that one. And I tipped that one, okay. Yikes. Yikes. Really have to be careful with falling in this game. Because the slippy jumping. Okay, see so this. Tasmanian Devil down here, and one of those green slime things at the bottom of this ladder. Okay, I've got a pretty good gun at the moment, so I'm not really willing to pick up this one above me in case it's not as powerful. I will take this key though, I can always come back up for that gun. So we have a fire demon. Ugh, got hit down to one health now. It's not good. Kind of hoping that would be a health kit in there. Do we have a slime or something? No. Okay, and that's the end of the level. And I think I'm going to take an exit while the going is good. We are heading to the sewer. So thanks once again for watching, and I will see you next time on Von Milhausen Plays Biomenace.